Let's have a look at how we work with the horizontal shift of the hyperbolic function. Please pause the video and try this example on your own. Sketch the graph of f of x is equal to negative 2 over x plus 1 plus 3. Show the position of any asymptotes, any intercepts with the axes, and the coordinates of additional points. So asymptotes, intercepts, and additional points needed to sketch the graph. Now, we know that a hyperbola can have two different shapes. It can either lie in that quadrant and that quadrant in relation to your asymptotes, or it will lie in that quadrant or that quadrant in relation to your asymptotes. This one occurs when your A value is positive, and this one occurs when your A value is negative. In this example, our A value is negative. We have a negative in front of the fraction, so we know that our graph is going to look like that. Now we need to determine where the position of the vertical and the horizontal asymptotes are. The horizontal asymptote, we we find by looking at the p-value. In this case, because it's x plus 1, our p-value is negative 1, and that means that our vertical asymptote will be the line x equals negative 1. Our q-value is positive 3, and that means that our horizontal asymptote will be the line y equals to 3. If we draw a set of axes and we sketch in the position of the asymptotes, it will look like this. Our vertical asymptote through negative 1 and our horizontal asymptote through positive 3. Now, that's step one. We now need to calculate any <coughs> intercepts with the axes. So to calculate the x-intercept, we set the f of x value or the y value to zero, and we solve for x. Subtract three from both sides, and now in order to get rid of the denominator here, we multiply both sides by x plus one. That gives us negative 3x minus 3 equals negative 2. If we add 3 to both sides and then divide both sides by negative 3, we land up with x equal to negative a third. So negative a third is over here, and that will be the position of our x-intercept. If we calculate the y-intercept, we set the x value to 0. Negative 2 divided by 0 plus 1 is just negative 2, and negative 2 plus 3 is positive 1. So our y-intercept is positive 1, and we know from this picture over here that it's going to lie to the uh, below the horizontal asymptote and to the right of the vert um, sorry, yeah, uh, right of the vertical asymptote. So we sketch in that side of the graph, and it looks like that. We now need to sketch in the other side of the graph, the part that lies to the left of the vertical asymptote and above the verti uh, horizontal asymptote. So we need to calculate some coordinates of some points. So if we take negative 2 and negative 3 and we substitute it back into the equation, we will get y to be negative 2 over negative 2 plus 1 plus 3, and the coordinate of that point will be negative 2 and positive 5. And if we substitute negative 3, negative 3 gives us a y value of positive 4. So we'll have a point at negative 2 and 5, and a point at negative 3 and 4. And we can now sketch the other side of the hyperbola. Okay, question 2. Determine the equation of the following graph, y is equal to a over x minus p plus q. We know that the p and the q values we can get from the position of the asymptotes, so we can see that the x value is 2 and the y value is negative 2, the x equals 2 is the equation and y equals negative 2, so that means our p value is 2 and our q value is negative 2. If we substitute those into the equation, because it's x minus p, x minus positive 2 stays as x minus 2 and the q value is just negative 2. In order to find the value of a, we now need to substitute in the coordinate 3 and 0. So the y value at that point is 0, gives us a over 3 minus 2 minus 2. That gives us a over 1, add 2 to both sides, and we get our a value to be positive 2. So therefore, the equation is 2 over x minus 2 minus 2.